At the moment, we've, we are blessed, but it's also been very difficult times, which we've mastered well. Because when they come to Austria before, always the, if you see the kids, they call me Frau Nega. Hi, Frau Nega. I say I'm not Frau Nega, I'm Sarah. My name is Kevin Danzo. I'm 19 years old, professional footballer for FC Augsburg and the Austrian national team. Injuries do happen and I train every day to improve on my strengths. I always knew that I was here to become a professional footballer and if I didn't believe to try my best then there was no point of giving up everything I had back home. I sat him down, my mother, my other brother and him, I said listen, you are 13, from, you are now going to play under 15 and from under 15 you have two options, football is no joke, it's a business. We have put a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of emotion in it. Either you say yes, I'll try and make it and be a professional and we support you with everything we have, 100%, but you have to give 100% back. Or you say, no, 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 I don't want that pressure. I want to stop and uh, I will just concentrate on school because school is not an option. But it's a fact, it's a given. You must finish school. Now in the end, we succeeded with both. I mean, both, he has yeah. his A-levels and he's playing football. So yeah. Because there's no guarantee mm. to be happy. Because you, you know, many of your lads you were playing together, they were also very talented and had many things, but their injuries, their wrong friends. So many things can happen at the end, can be there with empty hands, basically. Definitely. I mean, that was the most difficult time of my life because the stress of actually playing in the Bundesliga and finishing school was very difficult. And I was so happy when it was over. And now that I've passed everything, it's a feeling of relief and, you know, if something does happen, you have something to fall back on. Schmidt's corner's a great one, free header for Danzo. He follows up and makes it 1-1. This was from a couple of weeks ago. Mario Götze, World Cup winner, scored the winning goal for Germany. So, obviously, another must-get shirt and also a very good player, it was very difficult to play against him, very difficult to mark. I don't think I really need to say too much to this shirt. Matt Hummers, at the moment, the best centre-back in the world. I watch his videos before every game, still today. One of the biggest shirts I have, Gareth Bale. This was in my first match against Wales, but my first match against Austria as well. In the World Cup qualifiers, here you see the date and when it was. And yeah, uh, it was definitely a game I'll never forget because it was my first game internationally, professionally. And I mean, to get Gareth Bale's shirt in my first international game is something special. My personal favourite, just because of everything he stands for and everything he does off the pitch, Kevin Prince Boateng. At the moment, we've, we are blessed, but it's also been very difficult times, which we've mastered well. My mother wanted to give us a better opportunity. And in England, she saw more people of ethnic background and ethnic minorities achieving more in sports and in education. Because when they come to Austria before, always the, if you see the kids, they call me Frau Nega. Yeah, the people call me Frau Nega. They didn't mention my name. Hi, Frau Nega. I say I'm not Frau Nega, I'm Sarah. We are talking about 1990s, beginning 2000, not, not 1960 in, in Mississippi, in the United States. Generally in football, which is coped with that topic, because they're doing all that big things with say no to racism and fair game, blah, blah, blah. Especially in the youth sector, um, where we had many bad in incidents. And if, if something happens on the pitch, nobody wants to hear it, nobody saw it and whatsoever. So it's like really a topic nobody wants to touch. Because like everybody's afraid of it, it's not something you speak about. That's horrible. Having gone through that experience and Kevin having made his debut for the Austrian national team, my mom and dad are, were very proud at that moment. My dad was in the stadium when he made his debut against Wales and he started shaking and crying because your name is being sung and glorified. In, in German you would say, ein Genugtun. This was my first home match for Austria. World Cup qualifiers. Obviously the best thing to say is ignore it and just continue playing, but it's not something that's easy to ignore. When we played against Frankfurt, Kevin Prince Bratin played. He's one of the role models for, I think, any young black player coming up. I just spoke to him shortly on the pitch, 
just saying I appreciate everything he does against discrimination and just to have a player like that is just an amazing feeling to have. But I know there's still a long way to go to get to where I want to get. Anything can happen at any time and you never know, so a bit of go with the flow, but I have a general idea of where I want my career to go.